Hey guys, so today is a video that I've been promising you for a while because I purchased this Suku Powder Blush Compact. This is the six pan compact that I hauled for you I think in my last haul video, actually, I showed it to you. Anyway, I told you that I wanted to do a dedicated video to this palette, but many of you actually requested me to review and try out their newly reformulated The Cream Foundation. So I went ahead and purchased this off of Selfridges. I have it in the shade 220, and I was just on the Suku site and noticed that depending on what shade you purchase will depend on like what level of SPF you get. I think I saw some shades actually go up to SPF 30, and then and some have SPF 20, but my shade 220 has SPF 25. And I also purchased their new Intense Cover Concealer in the shade number 12, so we'll try that as well. And the last thing I purchased from their new Fall 2020 collection is one of their lip products. They came out with two lip formulas. I purchased one from the Comfort Lip Fluid Fog line, and I got the shade 07. So we'll be trying that out as well. And I also purchased, now this is not new to their Fall 2020 collection. This is actually part of their existing line, but it's something I've always wanted to try because it's so interesting sounding. It is their oil rich, glow loose powder. So this is apparently a very, very hydrating kind of loose powder, which for a dry skin haver like myself, this is like music to my ears. So we'll be trying that out. And I do have some Suku products um, that I have hauled and shown you already that we'll probably use today as well. So I have one of their Tone Touch eyeshadows. This is in the shade 06. And it's just this really beautiful, very Michelle kind of color, kind of taupey, kind of gold. And it's just, really uh, glittery and shimmery. So we'll play with that. And I also had one of their, and I don't know why it's still in the box because I know I've used this. This is their eyebrow liquid pen. So this is almost like, it looks like a liquid eyeliner, but it's for your eyebrows. So um, I have it in the shade 01 khaki. And I think I've used this for you guys uh, before. Again, I don't know why I still have it in the box. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with the foundation. So it comes in this box and the foundation comes in this really beautiful jar. Isn't that lovely? I love this like sleek black polished jar and then this kind of like wave gold design there on the cap. And it also comes with a little spatula here, which I will probably use. I really don't like digging my fingers <laughs> into uh, foundation. So let's open this up. So it just twists off. There's a little protective cover there. And hopefully this shade is okay for me. It was really, really difficult trying to figure out shades online. Anyway, we'll see if it works. I do wanna mention, I was kind of taking a look at the ingredients here. There is, and I never know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but it's petrolatum. There is petrolatum in here and I know a lot of you don't like that ingredient. I happen to really, really, I just love it because I have not only dry skin, but it's eczema prone and petrolatum is just a wonderful kind of like protectant <laughs> for your skin. So I happen to really like that. Oh, and I do see alcohol is an ingredient in here. It is pretty far down on the list. And I also see a lot of extracts in here. There's Camellia Japonica seed extract, um, hydrolyzed silk and a lot of interesting things. If I can get a good picture of this, you can see how small <laughs> and faint it is. If I can get a good picture of this, I will post this to my um, community tab here on YouTube so you guys can take a look at it for yourself. But anyway, just wanted to point out those few things and let's go ahead and apply. I believe their description of this foundation is that um, it is supposed to have a high coverage. So for me, that is very, very different. I am very, very curious to see how this works for me. And they suggest using a brush or your fingers. So I think I may just use my fingers because it really feels like cream, like face cream. Let's see and see how the match is. Wow, I think that's a, a fairly good match there. Maybe I'm getting, <laughs> maybe I'm getting a little bit better foundation matching for myself online. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and apply just a little bit more here. And I'm just applying it to this half of my face because I do want to get a better sense of the level of coverage and I can really only tell when I'm kind of comparing. Okay, so there it is on this half of my face. I kind of went over a little bit on my forehead here, kind of ends over here. Um, but I feel like there is definitely a solid 
medium coverage there. Like I really see a fairly big difference between this side and this side. I feel like the discoloration around my eyes uh, is pretty much camouflaged. Yeah, and the redness here is really dampened. I see a little bit of it peeking out, so I think this is like a really solid medium coverage. All right, and for this side, I think I'm gonna use a brush. I wanna see if there's you know any difference or whatever, but I'm going to start by dotting some on. Now I'm gonna take this brush. I definitely like putting it on with the brush better. I'm not the biggest fan of using my fingers generally, but this just seemed like it was so um, easy to just sort of like blend out where I felt like I really kind of had to work with my fingers and kind of make sure there weren't many streaks. I think the brush really just put it on seamlessly and I didn't feel like I had to keep going over it with the brush to kind of like make sure there weren't any streaks or like even it out. It just applied really smoothly, really quickly. And this is no surprise, but I do feel like the coverage with the brush is just a teensy bit lighter than this side with my hands. All right, let me just finish up on my forehead here. All right, so there it is all over my face. Uh, definitely some radiance there. I definitely see it, you know, basically in the T-zone. I see it like where I have larger pores here on my cheeks or whatever. Uh, pretty, well, pretty much all over. I see quite a bit of radiance pretty much all over. I really like a radiant foundation. I have, you know, dry skin, like I keep saying. Um, so a little bit of radiance, I always feel like makes me look a little bit healthier. So I don't mind that, uh, but definitely something to keep in mind if you've been thinking about this foundation. What's interesting though, is even though with all this radiance, with this creamy texture, you guys saw how thick and creamy it was when I went on, I don't feel like I'm like overly moisturized right now. I actually feel like despite um, it being very creamy, it feels very, very light on the skin. Like in contrast, the Clay de Peau, the foundation, that foundation is, it really feels like you're putting on like a tinted night cream, you know? Like it really feels like you're putting on like another layer of moisturization. And that's not to say that this feels dry in any way, but I just don't feel like I have this whole nother layer of moisture or skincare down. It really feels uh, much lighter than I thought it would. All right, so far so good. I've kind of been keeping an eye on whether or not it's oxidizing and I don't think so. I think it looks the same from when I put it on and so far so good, but we will definitely keep an eye on that. Um, so let's move on to the concealer. I'm really excited to try this. This is their Intense Cover Concealer. And again, I got it in the shade 12. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, super sleek with this glossy black packaging and the gold accents. And then you get kind of a peek at the shade down there at the bottom. So we've got a doe foot applicator there and I'm just gonna dot some on. I don't usually put on like that much concealer. So I usually start with a few dots. This shade is actually deeper than I thought. And the texture feels light. It does not feel thick or sticky or cakey at all. Yeah, really kind of like light feeling. And I don't think that I got like a super full coverage with that amount. So I'm going to put on a little bit more and kind of focus it on areas that I need <laughs> a lot more coverage. Well, it blends in really nicely. I do think if I were to purchase another shade, I would get something a little bit lighter. I thought getting foundation 220 and concealer 12 would give me something just a little bit lighter and brighter, but I feel like this looks a little bit too warm on my skin tone. So I don't know if that'll help you in terms of reference if you think about purchasing this and you have a similar skin tone to mine. I think, I think 12 is just a little too, yeah, it's just a little bit too warm and maybe just a little bit too deep. But I'm gonna try and ignore that and just kind of take a look at the coverage and how it wears and how it looks on the skin. But so far it's looking really nice. It actually looks uh, like it's very moisturizing and it feels really nice. It doesn't feel um, drying or like cakey or, you know, I don't feel it really on my skin. I'm not sure that I would say it has intense coverage. It's kind of hard to tell when you don't have like the right shade. I mean, I would say it definitely has like a medium, medium coverage uh, for a concealer. I don't think it's like the fullest coverage concealer I've ever used. I do feel like I'm seeing a little bit of a sheen under my eyes, almost like like there's a slight kind of like pearly finish. 
There it is swatched. Yeah, you can see how deep it is for my skin tone. Oh wait, I feel like I do see a little bit of a sheen. Do you guys see that? Oh, interesting, because it's like definitely like brightening my eye area, but in a completely different way than what I'm used to. Usually I just use like a shade that's a little bit lighter uh, than my foundation shade. So I'm on the Suku site and I'm reading the description for this concealer because I was just like, I can't tell. I can't tell if it has a sheen to it or not. Um, and it says that it is a formula that melts in a smooth layer onto the skin and stays put without creasing or breaking apart, infused with an original blend of silky powder for a finish that affords a delicate spun silk glow. So I'm not losing my mind. I definitely see that little bit of kind of like satin sheen radiance going on under there. So um, I also just wanted to show you this picture here of the shade. I picked 12 and I really should have picked, what is this, 21 down here. So if I were to reorder this concealer, I think I would get 21. Um, but we'll see how it wears. And if I really like it, I may get it in that other 21 shade. Yeah, so far so good. It's looking really, really nice. And like it says, it's not sinking into lines, it's not breaking apart or doing anything weird. Um, so let's move on to the Oil Rich Glow Loose Powder. I've been really tempted by this product for a long time. So this is not new to the Fall 2020 collection. And again, we have the glossy black finish on the cap here. So there's only this one shade in this particular powder. And again, I'm on the Suku site and it says, rich in beauty oils for a radiant look, it creates a moist, dewy, glowing finish. All right, I'm very intrigued. It says how to use, using the attached puff spread over the face from the center to outwards. I may just use the puff. I never ever use a puff. I always use one of my brushes, but because this is such a different uh, loose powder for me, I think I wanna try using the Suku puff and it is a nice puff for sure. Ooh, it's actually really, really spongy. Ah, okay, it has a net in the middle. I was wondering why the sticker was only stuck on the outside. <laughs> so it has a net in the middle there. I actually happen to really like this kind of dispenser. I really don't like those sifter holes. It's just kind of annoying, um, but I really like the net because it sifts the powder. I feel like it gives you like the right amount. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try the puff and the powder in here, I'm, sh I'm sure the camera can't pick it up, but the powder in here actually does look very, very radiant. It feels kind of nice hitting yourself in the face. Wow, what an interesting effect because I feel like it definitely kind of mattified my foundation. I don't feel like I look um, like foundation glowy, but I definitely feel like there is some like a lot of glow to my skin, but it's definitely from the powder because it's more of like a satin finish. God, I hope I'm making sense, but I feel like when you have glow from like a liquid product, it looks very different from a glow from a powder product. And I feel like I have a glow from a powder product right now, but it kind of mattified and set down my foundation. Oh, there's micro glitters in there. Not a fan of that, but I like everything else about this. This powder actually reminds me of um, the natural lighting powder from Kogendo, which is one of, if not my favorite loose powders. Um, but sometimes I do want like a little bit of radiance to my loose powder. And so I'll mix in a powder that does have a little bit of radiance, like the Laura Mercier translucent um, loose setting powder that has like the glow to it. Sometimes I'll throw some of that in, one of the Lancome um, Absolute powders, the Sicily loose powder, and I'll mix it with this. And I feel like this is the effect that I get. That is really, really exciting. I won't have to do that like mixology anymore. I can just reach for this one. Well, we'll definitely have to see how this wears throughout the day. I will leave a pinned comment down below letting you know how everything wore. So definitely check down there if you're interested. All right, and now on to this blush palette. Oof, when I saw pictures of this, I was like, yes, yes, please. I definitely need this in my life. I love a good face palette. I love blush palettes, cheek palettes. That's probably one of my favorite like makeup products and one from Suku, I was excited. So again, we have the black glossy finish with the gold uh, bottom here. And here we have some like neutral shades, some brighter shades for blush and then two highlights. I thought maybe I could use one of these as kind of like a bronzer, but no, there's a little bit too much like pink in there. So I think I'm just gonna forego bronzer today. I'm just gonna use blush and highlight. 
So I've got my Suku cheek brush. I actually haven't used this in a long while. I kind of have it tucked away. <laughs> And they're such special brushes to me that I just, I don't use them that often. But anyway, I thought I would pull them out for today's video since it made sense. And I actually got this brush as, oh, as part of a set. And I purchased this set off of Harrods. I don't know if this is still the case, but Harrods was carrying like the Suku original brushes that have the squirrel hair. And Selfridges, I think the brush set that they carry, uh, I think uses goat hair and I wanted the squirrel hair. It is softer so I ordered them off of Harrods. Again I'm not sure if that's still the case but it was when I purchased this set probably two years ago at this point. So anyway this is the Suku cheek brush and I'm going to go into this color right here. Ooh, it's much more pink on the cheek than it looks in here. I thought it was going to be more of a nude. Very pigmented. I uh, did not have to pick up too much product. And I think I'm gonna use this bright peach down here and just kind of add that to the apples of my cheeks. I have to say, I'm pretty surprised at how pigmented these blushes are. I think I mentioned it in my haul video when I swatched them because, you know, they're eyeshadows, uh, which I have a very little experience with, but some experience um, are so, are like really, really soft. They're very softly pigmented. They give you this beautiful like wash of color and that's kind of what I expected from these blushes, but these blushes are actually pretty bold. I really didn't pick up that much product with this brush, but I feel like I got plenty of pigmentation. Wow, that makes me all the more excited to try these highlighters. So this one has like a little bit of a pinky tone and this one has a little bit more of like a nude, uh, like taupey champagne tone. So I kind of want to mix the two. I'm actually going to use this um, bristles brush. This is the F09RM brush. This is the brush or one of the brushes that I didn't get a chance to use in my trying new makeup video when I was kind of playing around with all of these bristles brushes. So I think I'm going to use this for highlight. Yeah, I'm going to go between both of these pans and see what that looks like. Wow. Wow, that is some intense shine. And again, I picked up so little product. See, it doesn't even look like I hit the pan, right? Like barely. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. I'm going to actually take my Sonia G Smooth Buffer Brush and go over it just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. It's just so shiny. Wow. Again, I'm just really surprised. You know, Suku has such a soft look to their makeup line, I really was expecting something very, very subtle, but this is, this is very intense. <laughs> this is very, very intense. All right, that was the Suku Powder Blush Compact. Uh, you know, I am definitely going to keep using this. That is, that is fantastic. Okay, uh, let's move on to eyebrows. So I have this um, eyebrow liquid pen and I have it in the shade 01 Khaki. Here is the eyebrow pencil and color. So the khaki color, it really is kind of like an olive green. And I, I remember purchasing this because I was like, khaki? I was just really, really curious about the shade and if it would work. So we're gonna try this. I am not great with pens like this. I tried the Glossier one, which was, oh my gosh, what's it called? Our, the Eyebrow Flick, something like that. Anyway, it was okay. <laughs> It was okay, but we're gonna give this one a shot. And I do feel like I've tried this one before. It was just, it was a long time ago. Anyway, I'm just gonna just go right in and try and draw, try and draw some hairs. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Does that look okay? <laughs> I feel like the color, it's so interesting. I feel like the color works. It's so weird, but I do feel like it looks kind of green, especially when I look at it. Uh, next to this eyebrow. I've got my Suku Spoolie here. I wonder if it brushes out these pen strokes. Oh yeah, a little bit. Oh good, 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 good. I didn't think I could brush them out, but yes, that makes all, all the difference. All right, onto eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use this as a one and done shadow. And I guess I'll use one of my Suku brushes here. I have three brushes to choose from. This one is like a liner. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's just like a big fluffy brush, which is going to be great for a one and done shadow. So this one is the Suku Eyeshadow Brush L for large. Large, soft eyeshadow brush, perfect for applying a wash of color to the whole eyelid. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So let me dig into this shadow. And this one is, I don't know if I told you, it's number six. 
There's no name to this eyeshadow color, it's just number six. Kind of has that khaki undertone to the shade, which is actually a really good match to the eyebrows. And then it's got these gold shimmers in there, which like catches the light, obviously kind of depending on my angle. I'm just taking a really big fluffy eyeshadow brush and blending everything out. All right, I don't have any Suku eyeliner or mascara, so I'm just gonna use my Wayne Goss Essential Eye Cool Pencil in Rich Hazel, which is like the center shade. He has Obsidian, which is black, and then, um, oh my gosh, Pearly something, which is like a brown that has like a metallic sheen. This is just a very, very dark, dark brown. So I'm just gonna tight line with this uh, Rich Hazel shade. And then I'm gonna take my um, Shantakai Brightening Eye Kajal in Nude. This is my favorite pencil. I love adding this to my waterline for a little brightness. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And I'm gonna use the new Surat Noir Lash Tint. I just did a video on this. If you guys didn't catch it, um, I'll leave a link to it down below. But I talk about using this lash tint, which is very, very unique. The formula is unique. This applicator is unique because there are no bristles. There's really just threading around the end, so it's kind of like a screw. And you just like lay it onto your lashes and it works like really, really well. It's, it's really like amazing. All right, that's it for eyes. I'm really excited to move on to lips because I purchased this new uh, Comfort Lip Liquid Fog. And I got it in the shade um, 07. Oh, it's on the box. Hujiro, I think is how it's pronounced. So here is what that looks like. Very similar to the concealer, it's just frosted. The black and the bottom here is frosted. I really didn't know what color to get. They all looked really pretty. So I think I opted for one of the darker ones. Oh my God, I love this color. And this formula is interesting. It's like moussey. Very interesting. So it definitely has a matte finish, as you guys can see. I really love this color. I feel like this is like the perfect gateway if maybe you've been toying around with the idea of getting into like grungier shades, shades that maybe have a little bit more brown to them, but you think they look a little bit too stark. This is really nice because there's a lot of like red in there. So it looks a little bit more natural, uh, but there's a, it's very cool, very, very cool tone. So there's like a bit of brown going on. Oh, I love it. I'm waiting to see if it like changes, if it gets sticky or anything like that. Not at all. Well, all right, there is my full, almost, almost full face of Suku. I am, so far, again, it's only been about an hour. I'm so far very, very impressed with everything. The foundation, there's no oxidization, at least not for my skin, but the color has been very, very consistent from when I first applied it, so that is great. This blush palette is amazing. This loose powder is amazing. And as for the concealer, I feel like I can't really speak to it because I got the wrong shade, but I don't think it is as high coverage as at least I thought it was going to be with the name like Intense Cover. I think it's like a medium coverage concealer, but so far this is looking great. But like I mentioned, I will leave a pinned comment down below letting you know how everything wore. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Uh, leave any comments down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.